This Farm to Fork segment is sponsored by NetFM. We're here at Jacob's Farms with Jessica Vaughn. And Jessica, you do a fabulous job with herbs, but growing things in a greenhouse, it has its challenges. There are a lot of beneficial uh, parasitic bugs that are taking care of some of the bad stuff you have to deal with. Sure, sure thing. Um, well, here, especially in our chives, um, we have an onion aphid, which is our biggest pest here. Um, and so for that, we do a number of things, but given that we are, um, you know, a, an organic grower, we have a limit to what we can really do. So we use a lot of bugs to eat the bad bugs. So um, you can see in between our blocks here, we have a couple of different crops, one being a flowering marigold. Um, and one being a mullein plant um, that acts as a banker plant or a home, a habitat for a, a predator uh, for the onion aphid. And then we have some other um, insects that um, hang out and are attracted to the marigolds and, as well as other insects that bother the, the chives. So everybody kind of lives together in this little harmony and we kind of inject the beneficial insects into the equation um, by actually seeding them ourselves. Now you talked about um, having the different uh, flowers that are in here and the different plants. So those are specific for certain beneficial you know, bugs that you know are going to be attracted to those plants. Exactly. So we have um, two main uh, key pests for our chives are um, thrips and onion aphid, which are a black aphid. It's different than, I mean, there are many, many types of aphids. So we specifically have the mullein plants um, as a banker for a parasite that goes specifically after the onion aphid. And then we have the marigolds here, which um, are an attractant for the thrips, as well as for the beneficials that we use that seed and are in habitat okay, there. Before we run out of time, so with all the different herbs that you have here, each of these environments are specific to a temperature, to an angle, to the, the density of planting. I mean, it's all carefully controlled. It's very specific. So every crop has, to maximize the amount of um, productivity we have from our greenhouse, every crop has the bed spacing, the plant density, and the climate just right so we can get the most out of it while keeping the plants really happy. For all those delicious organic herbs that you may be eating, there's a good chance that Jessica here at Jacobs Farms put it on your table. For Farm to Fork, I'm Rich Krebs.